Uh, I'll go with support. I haven't done that yet today. I'll just try to stick by you, keep you healed and shielded. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Thank you. I'm at 12 health. Uh, I'm going to try to get to you. I, thought you were <laughs> I, got, I got killed. I thought we agreed that you would protect me. <laughs> What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Com Chatter, the podcast or show or whatever I'm calling this, where uh, we play squadrons together. And this week, my wingmate is Chewbacca himself. I'm so excited to have Jonas Swatomo playing with us. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. I'm so excited to fly with Jewie. I put on my Han Solo jacket. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm excited. How did I do on the name? I've been practicing because you said that it, it was like that coffee noise. That's like the, the best way you can uh, tell Americans how to pronounce it. Yeah, that's a, that's a small part of it, but it's so difficult. I mean, I, it's Suotamo, <laughs> but it's, uh, yeah, that's Suotamo. Every, in Finnish, every name is pronounced as it's spelled every time the same way. We don't change the pronunciation. So we don't have spelling bees. It would be pointless. <laughs> Everybody knows how to spell everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the second time I've had the pleasure of introducing you. We got to meet at Dragon Con last year, and I, I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to get the name right. Uh, oh, by the way, are we going against AI first, or are we going to go... It's searching for a match. Uh, it, it's against AI. Okay. Yeah, we. I figure we'll warm up, do something light to start. It's, it's still amazing gonna, that it still has to search for a match, though. Well, it's still going to put people with us, but they're going to be on our team. Oh, gotcha. And here we go. So I like to just open things up with some like kind of get to know your Star Wars fandom. Uh, a little bit. So what what was your introduction to Star Wars? My introduction to Star Wars was <clears throat> when I was very little, like four years old. My I used to, I, I remember watching Star Wars on, on the living room carpet and just wondering what on earth was that that Luke Skywalker was drinking? Because it was, <laughs> I thought it was porridge because that's all I ate at the time. And, uh, and, but it was blue milk I learned later. And, they, and uh, I, I just, you know, I was in awe of the, um, of the imagination of the whole galaxy, and, and just, I, wa I wanted to devour all that heroicness that Star Wars had in it. So, that's what I loved about it. So, A New Hope was your very first Star Wars movie. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think so. I watched it when I was a kid, you know, I, yeah, yeah. I watched it here and there. So no, it was not a continuous, I'm going to watch this now, but you know, it, I just, my dad was, you know, worshiping uh, these movies and Harrison <laughs> Ford. And, and then years later, when I got to introduce Harrison to my, <laughs> to my dad to Harrison, that was a cool moment. How did uh, that go? It went pretty well. <laughs> my dad, you know, it didn't, he didn't uh, 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 go off. <laughs> he didn't talk too much, which I was afraid he would. So, but it was it was great, great. He didn't, uh, yeah, he didn't completely embarrass me. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, did did you grow up kind of watching just the movies, or uh, did you get into any of the books, anything outside of that? What was your uh, as, as you continued to grow up? I read some books. I read some comics too, like when I was growing up, like the Dark Empire comics oh, yeah. and and some others. So those were those were cool uh, to to get to know and and because so, I was when I when I heard that they were gonna make the prequels, I was really excited. I couldn't imagine that uh, Star Wars would some someday have a continuation and. Uh, and it was super cool to to finally see those movies. Yeah. Uh, how old were you when the prequels were coming out? Um, I was I was about ten years old, twelve. Oh yeah, we were the same age then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> what would you say is your favorite? Star Wars story. It might 
not be a movie. It could could be anything, but if it is a, a movie, what what do you consider like your top tier Star Wars? My favorite is probably, if not Solo, it would be probably Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> Solo for uh, personal reasons. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Solo, definitely for personal reasons. I That's fair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so are we destroying these uh, salt cruisers now? Uh, yeah, we're on the two cruisers. Oh, I got ironed. I know you've been getting into. Uh... Oh no, I got killed. <laughs> <laughs> you've been getting into squadrons and. Uh... Star Wars gaming on your YouTube channel. Uh, is, yeah. is this your first Star Wars game, or did you play any of the games growing up as well? Uh, I played some games on Super Nintendo. I played a little bit Knights of the Old Republic. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I haven't been playing... Uh, and Lego Star Wars was something I, I went and bought on the day that they called me to say, hey, you, you got the role. <laughs> So I, <laughs> we played some of that with my with my wife to celebrate. Nice. Are you excited? Uh, the new one looks good. Uh, yeah, I, I can't wait to play it. And people on the YouTube channel have been asking if I'm going to play it, and for sure, <laughs> you can't. Are you kidding me? I just I love that stuff. I love I love Star Wars and, and what it represents. And it's uh, yeah, I. I just, if, I can't believe I get to be a part of it and on some level and uh, to interact with with the fans it's you know you must know because you you're you're living it too so so it's it's, it's great <laughs> not to the same degree <laughs> <laughs> no but you interact with it and we're all fans I think yeah it, it's and, hard uh, to find someone who's not a fan of Star Wars anymore that's true. Yeah. <laughs> well, some guys on Twitter might disagree with well, you. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, have, have you been enjoying Squadrons? Mm hmm. <laughs> Immensely. How do you think Chewie would do in a Starfighter? Because there's not a whole lot of room in there. Um. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I don't know if Chewie would do so well. <laughs> oh no. He probably prefers the the room that the Falcon provides. How would you say that your uh, experience with Star Wars has changed uh, from going from just like being a straight up fan to now being a part of its creation. Um, I just got killed. <laughs> <laughs> From being a fan to be, it's, it hasn't changed how I feel about. It. Like I, we were, we had a screenwriting class in in college, and uh, and all my classmates were, you know, aspiring filmmakers, and uh, so we had to list five favorite films. And everybody else wrote artistic films <laughs> and some films that I'd never heard of. And I just wrote Star Wars, Indiana Jones. <laughs> so, like, you have excellent taste. Yeah, I guess, I guess. But that's those are the films that I that I grew up with and and I thought were great. So that's if I uh, had to choose another film franchise other than Star Wars to be my favorite, it would be Indiana Jones. I love indie. Me too, man. <laughs> hey, whenever I get a missile lock, if I just can't talk to you, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I don't what, that, feel bad. <laughs> that's this is exactly the point of uh, this podcast or this show is to like kind of be distracted <laughs> while we're trying to talk because it, you so... absolutely get stuck in those like tense situations that you just have to focus for a second. Oh, man. I killed an AI player. 
Yeah, I don't think I have business going into the online thing just yet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we got the raider. Uh, do you do you find it hard to just kind of like sit back and turn off while you're watching Solo or any of the movies that you've been a part of? Uh, or are you constantly thinking about like the production and stuff that happened on set? I can, I can, I, I'm always thinking that. I'm, I'm thinking like, wow. I'm always like fanboying out over the stuff that uh we made and what other people made and so i it's it's uh so yeah i guess i guess it's hurt my total immersion getting lost in the story a little bit mm -hmm. but uh but it's it doesn't bother me i'm really i'm I, i'm really happy to you know analyze it as i watch and i enjoy it that way as well but yeah, I guess it would be. My my wife is when she watches something, she gets totally sucked into it. So, oh no, I got iron thing. Oh. <laughs> is it different if you're right. watching something like The Mandalorian? Yeah, because yeah, Mandalorian, I can just you know completely get lost in the story. So that that's that's been great, and I can't wait. On Friday, we're gonna get the new season. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm super excited about that. What was your? Do you have a favorite like part of the Mandalorian? Uh, I Baby Yoda, of course, <laughs> or the child. Uh, but also, I mean, the prison episode where where they go to save the prisoners mm -hmm. that was i thought that was such a cool old school star wars uh kind of vibe vibe in that uh, in that episode one of my favorites i think yeah as well as the last uh the season finale mm -hmm. i th i think yeah the last episode's probably my favorite 7 or 8 those those are so good yeah Oh yeah, S uh, seven was. Or, or Star Destroyer. Did you destroy all those things? Oh no. It was a group effort. Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> honestly, I didn't do much. I've been mostly dogfighting. So I think you've had kind of one of the most unique experiences in creating Star Wars, uh, because you got to work with kind of two generations of the same character. Not many people can say that, but you've gotten to work with Han and Lando at two completely separate points in their lives. True. That's true. Yeah, that I'm really I'm really thankful for that. I know it didn't uh It was it was uh going into those films. I felt really um, th not only thankful, but I felt like we had a, we had an opportunity to I don't know, sort of it was like it's the same as when they went and did the prequels. I thought it was such a you know honorary thing to do. I, I I felt like I felt felt like we were more so than going back for seven, uh, where where we were, you know, going, it was a celebration, mm -hmm. I tell you. Like, we, we went in there, and we knew it was going to be great. And But then these, uh, these the film Solo, uh, these spin-off films, when we went to do those, I felt like, I felt like we had to, we had to really bring it and, and make them great. And uh, I hope we did our job. I hope, I hope, <laughs> because, because those... Every time you, oh no, oh no. Every time you make a film, you know, it's gonna stay and be judged and celebrated if it's good. And and so there's that responsibility. Did you feel like more pressure, the more films that you were going into or did things kind of calm down uh, yeah, as, when, as when, you're making them? Yeah, before I go into uh, filming, I'm always doubtful. Oh, w whether I got this or not. 
And then when I... <laughs> I just keep getting killed. Yeah. Yeah, before filming, I'm like... What am I gonna do? What? What am I? I'm an imposter. I'm, <laughs> I'm a, you know, you get these feelings. But, um, am I, uh, do I have what it takes? And then, then you go in and you start filming and you reassure yourself and 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 also putting on that mask helps a lot. Yeah. Just put on that mask and no matter who you are, it's gonna make you feel great. <laughs> it's like it's like putting on the Jubaka mask is like. Is like some sort of a drug. I mean, it's 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 so freeing. Performance enhancing. Yeah, yeah. Because you're you're in in a you know you're in a furry suit, so everything you do gets amplified by by tenfold. You know you're. Every, you know people read into your your smallest gestures, and <laughs> <laughs> if you do something funny. You know, people think it's extra funny and uh, <laughs> stuff like that. So yeah, I'm enjoying it. Is there a is there a downside to the suit? Was there something that was like particularly challenging while you had it on? Uh, well, definitely the definitely the heat, and uh, and also the fact that it's really hard to talk through the mask, or it requires tremendous patience from from your <laughs> person who's listening to you because it's yeah <laughs> and it's always a little bit muffled and good job prepare to attack so we got to attack Back on so it. yeah it's always a little bit muffled and um that um I'm, I'm i'm trying to and also i'm trying to conserve energy when i'm in the suit because it's gets pretty hot and uh it's difficult to get through 10 hours of shooting if you're constantly jumping around and talking to to everyone, so I enjoy my uh, quiet moments when I'm on set, <laughs> even though I'm a, I'm a social guy. But it's it, it gets to you when you're when you've spent five hours in a suit. Sure. You, wanna... <laughs> you don't know how long the day is gonna go, so that's that that those are the challenges. It's an endurance test every day. <laughs> Are you, do you ever like quietly celebrate when you see in the script like we're going to Vandor, a snow planet, versus <laughs> we're going to Pasana, a hot desert planet? Well, the uh, the benefit of shooting in the studio it's that it's always <laughs> the temperature is pretty much always the same, except if you're in the Millennium Falcon cockpit and we have uh, we have to shoot, you know, the whole scene there, then it can get pretty steamy. Because yeah. there's, there's no if if they have the glass windows there, uh, it's a closed space. Sometimes we have a like the whole front of the Millennium Falcon is taken off, and you, so you, so they can push the cameras real close. And but uh, but so then you can get some airflow. But yeah, I I usually I usually ask um, Jamie and the uh, the special effects guys to give me. Uh, <laughs> to give me uh, a fan and yeah uh, so so that's how i stay cool <laughs> fall back prepare to defend gosh <laughs> something i think that's really fun about chewy and uh i bet you will enjoy as well is that he is alive through pretty much every star wars story that exists right now so is there anyone like if you were just able to choose like all right i'm playing chewy in another movie but you could choose any character to go on an adventure with who would you want to do that with oh that's a good question let's see uh-huh it would have to be it would have to be let's see let's see let's see uh any character i think i think it's it would be din jarin yeah it would be mando it would be mando right now that guy's so hot right now <laughs> <laughs> and i died i mean it's unbelievable it's really hard to talk i've i've been saying this on my youtube channel that it's really hard to talk and play this game oh yeah so, it's it's not easy <laughs> it's not easy i'm dying a lot too so don't feel bad <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, that's something that I 
could even see being a possibility. <laughs> yeah, that'd be, that'd be awesome. John Favreau. Yeah, if you're listening, I'm sure he is. <laughs> <laughs> I I think uh, the internet might explode if we got to see Chewie and Baby Yoda in a scene together. Oh my god. Yeah. It's been a long time since I've seen any enemies. <laughs> it's not probably not a good thing. <laughs> do, do you think Chewie and uh, Din would get along? Uh, they they would have. It would be difficult. He has that Han Solo uh, thing going on a little bit, so. Or no, maybe not. <laughs> In a sense that he's cool, so it would be difficult for Chewie. But uh, <laughs> but Chewie's also cool. So yeah, I don't I don't see a problem with that. Definitely not. Nice. Very cool. <laughs> Have you heard about the uh, Life Day special that's going to come out? Yes, I heard weeks? about that. I heard about that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you What do you hope to see from Lego Chewie and as he returns home? <laughs> Did you see that? I was overpowered. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um. What do I hope to see in in, in in the Lego holiday special? I mean, I hope it's good. I, I I'm sure it's good. I can't wait. I, I can't wait to with these new Star Wars things. So many of them I can't wait to watch with my kids when they're a little bit, you know, Otto's is turning three soon and he's uh, <laughs> he's learning how to say Chewbacca. <laughs> and uh, he says Pukaka, which means well, it means wood, wood poo, basically, <laughs> <laughs> in Finnish. So, so puka, pretty close, pretty close, pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> so I can't wait to show him and watch the films with him when he's a little bit older. I mean, he, he got good. some of the star treatment on the set of nine there. He did. He did. <laughs> yeah, he was wearing a bunny costume and came in and that was one of the best moments of my life <laughs> just yeah and he wasn't afraid of you know the chewbacca mask that sounds like daddy <laughs> <laughs> well you, you bring up solo and i'm i'm sure that i just have a couple questions that i i think are probably going to get like a no comment kind of answer but I feel like I'll get sure. yelled at if I don't ask. Uh, but I, I, at Dragon Con, we talked about the the Make Solo 2 Happen movement. Uh, right. And people are very excited about that possibility. Since then, there have been a couple rumors popping up here and there. Uh, have you heard anything about those? No. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Lucasfilm hasn't sent you like a save the date or anything? I've I've read I've, I'm I'm on Twitter so I I know when when there is something going on and but yeah even if I did know something I I, I wouldn't be able to say anything right so, but I'm I've been I've been saying this I can't say if it happens I'm in <laughs> you can you can you can count me in <laughs> <laughs> that seems fair. If you had your druthers, would would you want it to be like a, a a Disney Plus series or a film? What kind of continuation do you think would be fun to work on? I'm thinking, looking at the the excitement for Mandalorian and and how well it suits the current <laughs> situation that we're all in, I think it, it would be great as a Disney Plus sort of thing, where where it's you know people can decide when and how they're going to watch it and, as opposed to having to go to the movie theaters which i miss but um but disney plus is is streaming is the way to go and and uh it's everybody's doing it so that would that would be it 
Yeah, I, I really also like the idea of a solo Chewy Lando Crimson Dawn, whatever you want to call it, story. Yeah. Where we get it kind of on a weekly rollout. That that sounds like fun. I love yeah the way Mandalorian is, and that we all get to get on Twitter, or YouTube, or whatever, and talk about how excited we are once a week. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, I felt like Solo had that same detachment from the from the Force aspect of Star Wars mm. that Mandalorian has. Although Baby Yoda is there, but but I felt like uh, Solo was you know trying to go through that same the 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 sort of carefree adventure like feeling that the Mandalorian has captured. Oh yeah, uh, I totally yeah. agree. I think it would do very well as almost like a, like Indiana Jones was based on those old serials. Which uh, storylines from Solo would you want to? continue carrying on again if you had your choice <laughs> uh huh well let's see I think well I think the whole Crimson Dawn thing is is the one I would like to see because I mean you have the, the Emilia's character in that film was you know you didn't know anything about her and, uh, until and uh what else what else yeah just i i thought i thought we haven't seen <laughs> we we never get uh, get it we have never gotten enough of han so so we we need to see more of that at some point in the future whether it's you know now or 10 years from now or you know we we are not finished we want more <laughs> uh, i agree I, a lot of fans agree what was the, since Solo, uh, sounds like it might be your favorite Star Wars movie, do you have a a favorite memory from that set? Mm, I know what memory I most well remember, but I don't know if it's my favorite, but the, the mud fight scene yeah. was, <laughs> I will never forget uh, filming that because it was so, we dreaded shooting that so much. We, we were like, oh no, and they, <laughs> we shot that the first thing, you know, we started with that because everybody wanted to get it over with sure. So so let's start from the mud fight and uh, To me it was a bit dumb because uh, Well because it was you know traumatic to go <laughs> to go <laughs> into the mud but also because what well, we learned oh no We learned afterwards <laughs> that you know one Chewbacca suit one perfectly good Chewbacca suit will be ruined so yeah so that's what happened <laughs> <laughs> was that the hardest shooting day for that movie uh yeah it was it was a couple of weeks that was that. weeks oh my god we yeah it was supposed to be, supposed to be a little stop by the end yeah, we shot for a couple of weeks. Wow, that was that was yeah, it, it was intense, and it was so much, so much. So we shot first day. We shot, we shot that scene where, where I crawl from the little hole, on yeah, the inner like when we first see Chewbacca in his beastly form, uh -huh. and then, and then they had you know drenched my suit with like mud and water and whatever that mud was it was like conditioner and, <laughs> and some some food product <laughs> that's what that's what that was so so they had drenched the suit and and i have to like crawl over like a monster from uh from the uh cave and we shot that about 25 times and every time i had to like wave with my head like this to be to to appear like a monster, and uh, when you have a full head of hair, that mask, I mean, when it's drenched, it, it starts to weigh uh, oh, yeah. a lot, and then it ended up giving me this massive neck cramp the next day. Oh, yeah, I was I was so much in pain, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was not it was not fun. <laughs> it was fun, but you know. 
you, it takes toll. It, it, yeah. Every every um, cool scene like that, you know, there's a there's a price you have to pay. <laughs> <laughs> what was just the the all around most fun to do? Most fun to do. I think I think the uh, the uh, scenes we shot at Fort Aventura, the desert scenes uh, towards the end of the film, those were the, the uh, scenery was yeah. just amazing. So I loved I loved shooting those scenes. And uh, yeah, because we we got to be on this on this cliff where where Beckett gets shot in the end, and it was like the yeah, it was so so rocky and so steep. There was it was it was like I don't know, fifty yards. <laughs> we were like, you know, if you jump down, maybe a hundred yards. So it was very high, high up, and that was amazing to me. And no, That's... no running, no neck cramps, just kind of standing there and <laughs> yeah, that, comforting that, Han. That didn't involve. Yeah, that was just the first two weeks. Off solo, yeah. After that, it was, it was uh, much, much, uh, much more uh, usual. Yeah. Business as usual. <laughs> but it was, it was good. I remember some of the behind-the-scenes footage showing. Uh, I, I don't know if it was you or a stuntman that they were like tests for. Chewy with like a shotgun looking thing, like running down corridors and doing flips and somersaults and things. Yeah, was, was that you? Yep. And that that was uh, there was one which I I regret we didn't we didn't get to see. But Chewbacca jumps in and does this. <laughs> <laughs> That's that that was so so much fun to shoot that little uh, test scene. Um. Uh, yeah, we, we had such such so many good ideas because the the stunt people had just i think they had just finished kingsman mm. <laughs> uh movie which has such uh highly detailed and creative fight sequences and they they wanted to bring some of that in but then in the end you know chewbacca can't be doing ninja stuff when <laughs> when he spent when he spent like most of the movies you know being pretty casual so i think it was good that we uh, I think it was good that it was kept, you know, Chewbacca was kept a little bit more traditional. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I liked watching all that test stuff. I was, I was into True. it. True. So I wouldn't have minded I, seeing it. There's got to be something for the sequels. You right, know? exactly. You know, we'll have to leave something for the sequel. <laughs> it was still so great to see Chewie just be more active in Solo and like True. throwing people around on Kessel. <laughs> that was so much fun. I, I can't. Yeah, th those scenes, those scenes, I just like when I was watching, I was cheering. Yes, <laughs> finally. <laughs> <laughs> so I probably should not uh, play a support. I'm just going to play a standard fighter. I'm not going to be able to. <laughs> Bom Bomber's a good one to, to go with. Just they're, they're more survival, survivable. Uh, I'll go with support. I haven't done that yet today. I'll just try to stick by you, keep you healed and shielded. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Thank you. So you can't see my gameplay on mm -hmm. this. But I, I can follow you around, so. Oh, no. Pressure. <laughs> yeah, don't crash into anything. <laughs> <laughs> Your viewers are going to be like, what is he doing? Who is this guy? <laughs> Yeah, it's a lot different from acting, like pretending you're flying, <laughs> to actually try to fly and look cool at the same time. <laughs> That's, I think there's that story about Harrison, it's like someone was asking him, it may have been Alden, like, what do all these switches do? And he was like, I don't know, you just press them and <laughs> act busy. <laughs> So I, I asked that. I remember okay. that getting that answer. But, but, uh, but Oscar asked him like, "So, do you have any, as your as a uh, pl uh, airplane pilot, do you have any tips for me?" And uh, Harrison was 
just I I heard he had just said that huh, it doesn't matter. It's in space. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, like something like that. So <laughs> it, it he he knew how to have uh, have fun with the uh, with the ridiculousness of it all. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we we, we we it was so it was so enjoyable. Harrison was he's every one of us, you know. I might go in the right way. Uh yeah. Did you ever play like the old uh X Wing games that are kinda like this? Yeah, actually uh no I did not because because I'd never had a suitably good computer. I think I destroyed one. Or oh, maybe it was someone else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was I was drooled over the X-wing game. Yeah, I wanted to play it so bad. How do I? Missile countered. Well done. <laughs> <sighs> Get you a fresh shield. Oh, excellent! Thank you. I'm at 12 health. Uh, I'm gonna try to get were, to you. I thought you. Were <laughs> I got. I got killed. I thought we agreed that you would protect me. <laughs> I'll do better next time. Oh, I evaded a missile. Oh, and I died. <laughs> <Whew. laughs> How have you been enjoying getting into like the YouTube side of things recently? I love it, man. I, I, I'm really just trying to figure out what it, what is it that my channel should be about, and uh, but I love having that avenue of uh, uh, talking to you know to people and getting feedback from them, and I love I love doing that, and I, that's what I you know I went to school for uh, when I went to Penn State, you know I studied filmmaking and making videos and. So I've been enjoying it. Yeah, and YouTube is such a good community. Too like, like the uh, the the level of discussion I think. Yeah, is is uh, surprisingly, you know, civil. Uh, and uh, on my channel, I mean. Only <laughs> the only people who 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 follow my channel are you know oh no are my you know the people who know who I am so sure. so it's a really they're really nice to me which is good. <laughs> <laughs> you did, like what ideally what would you want your channel to be about? Um, well, it's it can be anything because. It's Yono World. Yeah, probably means that he doesn't know what his channel is about. <laughs> but yet, yeah, no, I. I'd love it to be a discussion of, you know, to because I. It's especially at times like these when you can't really go out that much and there are there's turmoil in the world. So, you know, it's an outlet for. To having a having a discussion with with people who with similar sets of interests, and uh, to me that's music, that's Star Wars, that's games. So that's why what it's that's I guess why why I started it. Well, it sounds like you know what you want. <laughs> yeah, but do I? I think you do. <laughs> and that's and you you talked about uh, getting a live stream set up. A little bit earlier like oh yeah that's, that's what i want to do next that's something is... that we started doing a lot more of and it's exactly what you're talking about like that yeah discussion since we're all stuck inside i love that i love it's this sort of when i'm playing by myself in a room alone uh games become a, a little bit more of a chore than when you are you know it, it can you can start getting too invested in it but if it if it would be a social thing then i guess yeah. it wouldn't matter if i died so much <laughs> <laughs> yeah ties are not my speciality I'm... i would agree i'm better in the the new republic ships 
do you have a favorite like Star Wars faction? Are you a uh, more of a rebel resistance person, or do you like the Empire at all? More the aesthetic uh, than the fascism, but I I do. I mean, I I, I li <laughs> yeah, I like the aesthetic. <laughs> yes, it's it, yeah. You gotta have that in in a in a good story. The stories are they they um, mirror our history and our stories and and legends and it's 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 always I'm a sucker for a good fantasy story and and Star Wars okay I finally learned how to target the AI so I'm so, I'm, <laughs> so I can I can target these uh, uh, X-wings now have you played through the story mode of this yet I'm um, halfway through. Yeah, that's that's a good uh, teaching method. That's that's how I learned to do basically everything in the game. Uh, yeah, I think I watched. I think I was watched your YouTube video. I've learned from your tutorials, man. <laughs> <laughs> Always glad to, to help. Because I, mean, I don't have the time. Like I'm eight hours a day. I'm at home. You know, taking care of kids. Mm -hmm. And then a couple hours at night, you know, I try to. This is not an excuse, but <laughs> but yeah, you don't have the time to learn everything by experience. So I think that's fair. Well, thanks. Our teammates were successful. <laughs> I think that's that's it. That's all the questions I had. Uh, Wonderful. Almost, if there's anything else you want to talk about, we can. But <laughs> if not, uh, you can let everyone know where to follow you, uh, your YouTube channel. I, I'll put links to all that in the description as well. Wonderful. Yeah, my YouTube is just Yono World, and and uh, my socials, you'll see them in the links. <laughs> <laughs> I've got them all. <laughs> hey, yeah. Thanks for having me. I. I I need to get a little bit, tiny bit better at this game before I can... <laughs> we, we didn't lose a single game. That's good. That's good. <laughs> I think you're, you're one hell of a pilot. <laughs> well, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you again so much for hanging out with me and uh, playing Squadrons together. That was a blast. Uh, thanks, Alex. Uh, and uh, yeah, anytime. When, when I get my streaming set up and and stuff we we should do this again sometime oh that'd be great <laughs> awesome dude oh, take thank care you, everyone. And, oh, so thank I you everyone for uh, yeah <laughs> thank you everyone for watching and may the force be with you <laughs>